she wandered onto this farm and had seven puppies. And then a few months after that, whoever had said they were going to keep her took her to the shelter where she was set to be euthanized. We fostered one of Ella's puppies, Maggie. Probably a month or two later, we decided to keep Maggie forever. What do you got? It didn't seem right that all of her puppies were in these amazing homes. I was like, we can help. She's a sweet mama. She was very terrified. We were told she was feral and she might be aggressive. We kind of agreed that she just needed to decompress for the night. She did not eat or drink or go to the bathroom. The first times I brought her out of the crate, she would kind of dart right under the dining room table. And I would just sit out in the backyard with her for a few hours while she just decompressing. I kept our two dogs, her puppy and our dog Max, separated from Ella. Is that your mother? <laughs> She's like, wait. Maggie was interested in Ella from day one. Maggie would lay outside of Ella's crate all day. Probably the second or third day, she started to show an interest in Maggie, who would be in a crate as I was taking Ella out to the backyard. And there was one time that I opened the crate and she kind of came out and put her face right up in my face. And that was a big deal because all the times before she had gone straight to hiding. I had been sitting in the backyard with her for three or four hours. She got up and she just walked right over to me and kind of put her head like on my side and just kind of like rubbed her head on me. And that was the first time she'd ever come up to me and wanted me to pet her. I'm sure I cried. We were in the backyard the following day. I was petting her and she kind of laid on her side and so I started petting her belly and then she rolled completely onto her back and let me pet her whole belly. That was a sign that she was getting more and more comfortable and that she trusted me. Look at you. I introduced our dogs to her on like day seven. I don't know that Ella was recognizing that it was her puppy, but she was excited that there was dogs that she could be with now. Ella girl. And I think that once she was able to be with us and the dogs all at the same time, she opened up even more than she already had. Hi, mamas. Hi. What do you need? Huh? She really learned how to do a lot of the normal house dog things from watching Max and Maggie. Wow. So I think both us showing her that she's okay and then the dogs also kind of teaching her like, hey, we're here, everything's fine. She relaxed and started to get more comfortable and that's when she started to be more playful. Yeah! Ella girl! I knew she was ready because she was showing all the signs of being a happy, normal dog. Even though I would have liked to keep her for much longer, if I kept Ella, there's no way I could foster another dog. We found her the perfect home. What do you think? You like your home? We couldn't have asked for a better couple to give Ella the forever home that she deserves. You like your new toy?